I want to show you how easy it is to create a sales order in Dynamics 365 Business Central starting in Outlook. The scenario is I've got an email from one of my customers asking for an order. I'm going to look at the information in Outlook and then place the order within Outlook and then send an order confirmation back to my customer all within Outlook. So let's take a look at it. Here's the email from my customer. She's looking for four Mexico chairs and a conference table. Now I can access Business Central information directly from Outlook. Let's go up here, go to Business Central, and let's start with Contact Insights. Outlook has identified the customer in Business Central based on the email address and delivers this information from Business Central directly about the customer, Trey Research. These are familiar windows. If I scroll down here, I've got some additional tiles. All this information is accessible from Outlook and it's looking directly at the data in Business Central. There's no import export. So I've got information here. I can go back and look at past sales. I can look at current balances. But really what I wanna do is I wanna create an order based on the request from my customer. So I'm gonna go up here and create a new sales order. Outlook has identified two items that are in my Business Central system based on the information within the email. You can see that right here on the right hand side. It's picking up the items and it's also picking up the quantities. So the add in for Business Central in Outlook is scanning the email and looking for information about the sales order. It picks this up. This is not a standard format that I have to use. It's looking at the entire text of the email and saying, hey, I think it's these two items. So these are exactly the two items I want in the quantities on my sales order. So I'm gonna select them and hit OK. Now it's created a sales order. You can see the sales order number right here. If I scroll down a little bit, I can see more information about the sales order. At the bottom here, I can see the detail. This is the detail that was created from the email and created an order in Business Central. It's ready to be reviewed if needed. It's also ready to ship. And it's that easy to create sales orders in Business Central from Outlook. So another thing we can do right in Outlook is to send a sales confirmation. So let's do that. I'll go up here, scroll down here, and we'll email the customer a confirmation of their order. Outlook will create that. It's got an attachment of the order, and all I need to do now is send that, and I'm done. In this demonstration, I showed you how you can get an email message from a customer. You can easily turn that around in Outlook and create a sales order in Business Central. And also from Outlook, you can send an order confirmation back to your customer. If you're in Outlook all day, like a lot of people, this makes working with Business Central a lot easier to do.